Okay. I suppose, Fabian, the first question is, how are you settling in? Yeah, I'm settling uh, really well. Uh, obviously, I've played with a few of the lads with the national team and uh, <clears throat> I've played against these lads uh, over the years. Yeah, they've welcomed me with open arms and um, I'm enjoying it. What was it about Everton that attracted you to this move? Uh, I, we played against them last season and uh, it was very difficult, especially uh, at the Etihad. And I seen a group of players, a squad of players that, that looked like they was heading in the right direction. Uh, some very talented players individually. Uh, obviously, the way they play, they're a possession-based team, uh, high work ethic, and the manager seems to install that in them. And the previous club he was at seemed to be very similar. So it was really attractive to me, and uh, I'm, I'm just happy to be here. And what has the manager said to you about what he wants from you here? Uh, just more of what the same as what I was doing at my last club. Uh, obviously, I'm one of the, the older players now, so... I'd like to think I'm, I'm relatively experienced, so if I can if I can help the younger lads and help push them and uh, just basically put my put my marker down and and try to push the lads in the right direction. Does that leadership come naturally? We saw those clips, of course, from the City documentary where you played a big role in the dressing room. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, ever since I was. 18 years old at Leeds United I've always been quite vocal and uh, I think it's been it's it's within me it's not something that you can turn on and off I mean even last season when I wasn't involved uh, in some of the games I was still one of the most vocal ones in the change room before the game and I'll I'll always be like that till till my last game played your last start in the Premier League was back in <coughs> December now. Don't remind me. <laughs> How frustrating now has it been? Because, of course, you got sent off and you didn't start another Premier League game for Manchester City since. So how frustrating was that for you? Yeah, really frustrating. I mean, from from a very young age, uh, is all you want to do is play football. Uh, I had a great spell uh, the season before that where I was playing pretty much every game and then play, played pretty much every game and up until December and then, obviously, I got uh, sent off. And I didn't feature, like you said. It, it's it's been frustrating, uh, but to be honest with you, I'm 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 really professional. Uh, I still trained very hard, still got my distances up, and still did absolutely everything to to be available for the team. And uh, the team was in a in a really good stage, uh, doing really well. So I had to buy my time, and fortunately, I never got much game time after that. How much of a factor was that sending off? Do you feel? I don't think it was a factor. I think uh, similar time the season before I got sent off against uh, the team we're going to play tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'll have to be on my best behaviour tomorrow. But uh, I don't. I, I'm not sure. I've not really thought about. It. I don't. I don't really think too much about things that have happened. I try to focus on the present moment, and uh, I trained really hard. Uh, made myself available. I got a, a niggle towards the end of the season. Uh, in the Champions League game against uh, Spurs, the collision I had with uh, Harry Kane, I got injured then, and uh, that was pretty much my season over. So I'm looking forward now, and uh, I'm at this club, this fantastic club with a great set of players and a good manager, and I'm looking forward to the to, to this season. When you just look back, just once more, if you don't mind, because you had so much success at Manchester City, is there is there a personal highlight for you? Is there an experience that stands out in your career, which you know, was that a real? Uh, moment? It, I think when I'm when I'm done and retired, I'll probably look back at, at some moments. Uh, if I was to to pick a few now, I think uh, definitely the the Centurion season. Uh, I think at the start of that season, I was probably on my way out, uh, and I felt like I'd not done done enough. I felt like I needed to give it one more shot, and I gave it absolutely everything. Ended up playing in a position what. One, what I've never played in before, and it's rightly so. A lot of people wrote me off uh, playing in a left back position, and I managed to to do well there and help the team to to win the Premier League and have such a fantastic season. Do you still see yourself as a left back as well as a central midfielder? I mean, when you come into Everton, is that a role that you might be asked to play? Uh, I mean, I can play left back. Uh, I'm not the best left back in the world, but I can play left back. Uh, 
I can play defensive midfield, attacking midfield, right back. I can play pretty much. I can play a lot of positions. So I feel like if I was asked to do a job, uh, I would do it to the best of my ability. Uh, I can't remember ever giving anything less than a hundred percent. So if I'm asked to do a job somewhere, then that's what I'll be giving one hundred percent. A lot of fans and pundits have really started to look at where you might fit into this Everton team, and there seems to be a consensus that you might be coming in to replace Idrissa Gay in that central midfield role. Is that a role you've been happy with? Is that anything the manager spoke to you about? No, I've, I've literally just come, I've only been here a week and uh, literally trying to get up to speed with the lads. Uh, the training's a lot different to, to my last club. Uh, the, the work rate's really up there. I've uh, been really impressed with that. But like I said, I can play in quite a few positions. Uh, hopefully, hopefully he stays because he's a fantastic player and is a great asset for the club. But if I'm asked to play in any any position, then like I said, nothing less than a hundred percent. Just finally from me, you know what it takes to win trophies, <clears throat> big trophies. There are other players in this squad that have done similar now, and it, it's building that momentum. Is that the aim to try and deliver a trophy for Everton? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm uh, I've been fortunate enough to to be in a squad which is full of uh, people with winning mentality, and uh, I'm not going to change now. Uh, I'm coming here and. The main goal is to be successful and to try win something. Uh, I'm I'm really aware that the club's not won won anything for quite a long time, and that's definitely on the on the top of my list to to try push the lads and for the lads to push me and everybody to head in the same direction and and hopefully try win something. Cheers. Hi, Marit Smith from BBC. Welcome Hi. to the club. Um, you've talked about the leadership that you bring. You've been praised for that already in the training sessions. How important is that to this club? Yeah, it's massive. Uh, I think it's important for everybody to, to play their part. Uh, it probably comes a lot easier for me because I'm one of the older players, uh, but it's definitely something that, that, that a, a team needs, a successful team needs. I mean, you don't have to be the best the best player in the team to have an effect on people. Uh, but if you've got leadership qualities, you can definitely drive that that winning mentality and that drive to, to be successful and and to pretty much set your standards high and and have good habits. And that's definitely one thing that I'll be looking to, to bring here. So not only leadership, you bring success as well from your time at Man City. What role can you play in helping Everton realise that top six ambition? I just think that the winning mentality is massive. Uh, like I spoke about uh, having good habits, uh, the training sessions, everybody needs to be on it. We need to have that winning mentality in training. We need to prepare properly off the pitch away from the club. We need to make sure we're recover, recovering properly. And we just need to be really on it. If everybody's heading in the same direction, uh, it's, it's fantastic, there's no egos here. Everybody works really hard, it's great work ethic. The staff are fantastic, so if everybody uh, aims at the same goals and heads in the same direction, then I'm pretty confident that the, the club can, can go somewhere. And how important is it that you get to start as many, if not every, game with Everton? Yeah, like I said, it's important uh, for every player that want to be playing football. Uh, ultimately, that's what it's all about. But whatever role I'm asked to play, whether I'm on the pitch or off the pitch, you're going to get the same the same desire the same drive from me uh, it's the way i the way i am the way as i've always been uh, i came through the leeds academy and work ethic uh, that was that was driven into us so nothing will change and the club's happy with the price they paid for you a bargain at 3.5 million how will you prove to the fans that you're actually worth more uh, by putting in the performances by uh, exactly what i've what i've touched on uh, trying to drive the team and trying to put in those good performances and ultimately what it's about is winning games so that's what we're judged on and uh, that's what we need to be doing thank you okay should we do the newspapers now